Hi, this is Bobby Kimmer with the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office, Office of the People. As we begin the new year 2024, I just wanted to take a moment and share with you some of the advancements, some of the things that we accomplished in 2023. As we begin the last year, we begin the last year by trying to create a footprint in the community, by doing social things, by creating build a bed by creating community credibility, by working in the community in various housing areas, by providing coat drives, by providing food drives, by providing GED program. In addition to that, we try to broaden our footprint as it relates to securing our community by increasing the number of men and women that are out on patrol, by increasing the number of men and women that are working in certain specialized units, such as the JIT unit, the Juvenile Investigator Intervention Team that works with our youth mentoring to them, working with them. We decided to work with various communities, very uh, partners in the community to try to what we call address social deterrence to keep men and women from reaching their God-given towns. In addition to that, we were at 105 shortage in our detention center because of the belief in you all the bonuses, the raises from the county commissioners, that number has dwindled down significantly to 70 and currently coming down as we speak because you believed in us, you believed in us and gave us the funding, the tools to do that. We have turned the corner drastically. And I wanna say thank you for believing in us. 2023 was a strange year. We were coming out of COVID and we survived it together because we kept the vision, stayed behind it and we delivered on everything that we said. As we come into 2024, one of the things that we're gonna do and continue to do is to broaden our social presence inside the community. We believe that in order to stop some of the violence, we must be present, we must be a part of the community, we must have that, what I refer to as community credibility, by build a bed, by educating, by adopting schools, uh, the Griffin gents, by doing so many things that we do in the community. We must be able to meet it on all fronts by some of our units, uh, the district drug task force that we have with Winston and surrounding partners, Kernersville. We must continue these partnerships that we have, not only just law enforcement partnerships, but partnership with our churches, our community, our nonprofits. This year we're excited. We're excited about our youth program that we will be launching in February. We'll be launching that by working with young men and women on Saturday mornings, my brother Second Chance, and a new cool movement about working with kids, mentoring them, giving them skills, survival. We're excited about the partnership of working with Wake Forest University School of Professional Development, where we developed a first responder leadership school, which was a success. People from all over the state, as far away as New Mexico, attended the school. We're excited about the partnership with Novant, where we created what we call mental readiness in law enforcement, where our men and women go through a series of tools that enhance their ability to respond and deal with what they see every day. We're excited about the partnership with Dr. Starks at Duke University, where we, this year we will deliver the first of its kind in the United States, where we will deliver AEDs via drones. That's right, AEDs via drones the partnership with Duke University. We're excited about all the things that we are delivering here in the 21st century in 2024 because of you we're doing it. One of the things that we are advancing is our drones in a box referred to as DIB, being able to respond via drones before the cars ever get there. We're constantly using drones as first responder. But imagine a county where we can dispatch drones remotely to cover, to visualize, to gather, to see, and secure a community. What I want you to know that we have our BLET school that we have launched. For you, we launched that because we want to customize and create and just not give the minimum of the state requirements, but exceed that. We have our DOC school, Department of Corrections, where we're actually training our own a correction office, and we're doing that because we want to customize the men and women that serve you. We want to make them the best for the best community in this country, in this state. And because of that, I want to say thank you for supporting, thank you for believing in us, believing in me, and allowing me to sit in the office of the people. I want you to know that I love you, and on behalf of the entire staff of the FCSO family, we love you and thank you for the support that you give us. Thank you.